guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my very, very, very highly requested how I meal prep video. Disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist, I know nothing. These are just what I make. I know nothing, not a doctor, and I'm not a chef. So here we are, but I am a college student. This is what I make um, for myself as a college student. I've recently gotten super into meal prepping. It's super, super easy. I have these boxes. They're like bento boxes. I don't know. I got them on Amazon. They're super nice. They're really cheap. I'll have them linked down below. They've changed the game for me. They're so easy. They're microwavable. Put them in the washer. Like it's just, they're the best things ever. But if you guys are new here, please subscribe. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and give this a thumbs up if you guys want to see a what I eat in a day video or what I eat in a week video as a college student. Um, I watched those recently and I really like them. I like getting new ideas. If you guys have any good recipe ideas, I am your girl. Comment down below. Let me know what you meal prep. Let's have a little community. You know, we are. We are one. But like, let's talk about it. I need more ideas. I literally, guys, like, if Kate is watching this, she's laughing. It's been two years and I'm still eating my buffalo chicken sweet potatoes, but like, I don't want to eat anything else. Like, I don't get tired of it. I don't want to eat anything else. I literally just want to eat that. So that's one of the meals. Okay, we're going to start off with my peanut butter energy balls. These are super, super easy to make. They're really filling and they're an awesome snack for on the go. So these are just no bake energy balls. They're literally the first recipe that popped up, but they are so good. I actually uh, went back in this recipe. I ended up doubling the recipe because I've made them a few weeks like I've made them for a few weeks now and I just want more they're so good so you just want one cup of just oats half cup peanut butter you can also do like flaxseed I normally do chia seeds but I ran out and didn't realize it um half cup chocolate chips uh, one teaspoon vanilla extract and one third cup honey I make these all the time so I kind of just eye it I don't really measure like most of it but then you'll just let them refrigerate for 30 minutes and then you'll take them out of the fridge and you'll make them into like the little balls and then you can just like put them back in the fridge. They're so good. I'm actually, after this, I'm gonna go to, the, to my kitchen and eat them. They're so freaking good. So that is like the snack that I like to make. And then more of my like dessert snack. If you guys have been listening to my podcast, the I Love You So Much podcast, Kenzie Elizabeth, check it out. Or you watch my like vlogs or anything, you guys know that my favorite snack of all time now, of all time, I don't see anything ever topping it, are my dates with peanut butter. Wow. And I know that you can add like chocolate and like make them more into a Snickers bar or whatever, I'll get to that, but for this week I just did dates and peanut butter, so you just cut the date in half or like kind of cut it down, take the pit out, and then you just put peanut butter in it. I like it when the peanut butter is like thicker and it's been like in the fridge rather than like oilier and like runnier, you know, like not that kind, that's ew. Um, it's better with the date when it's like thicker. So you just let it refrigerate. That sounds so weird. Am I saying that weird? Um, but that's it. It's super, super easy. It's like the best thing in the entire world. For lunch. Oh no, okay. So for breakfast, I decided to meal prep some overnight oats. I only do like two of these at a time just because I feel like they'll get bad and they're super easy to do. So again, I just eye everything here. You can put so many different things in overnight oats. Again, I normally put chia seeds. I was out of them, unfortunately. Didn't realize how much I used them. So you get a mason jar, then you're gonna put some of the oats in, some almond milk in. Um, I put blueberries in, almond butter. Almond butter makes it very filling, so that's very important to me. Um, chia seeds would be good. I put some like shredded coconut in it. You can put some like bananas in them. They're really good with bananas. Um, strawberries, they're super good. And yeah, that's it. You just let them sit overnight and then in the morning you have these amazing overnight oats. I had them for breakfast this morning. They were incredible. I'm a big, big fan. For lunch, I know this is probably coming as no surprise to you guys, but I made some sweet potatoes. Um, I was kind of in a rush, so I put these in the microwave, which I would rather bake them, but I like was in a rush. I didn't have time. Um, I boiled like a really big pot of chicken and then I ended up just like tearing it apart, cutting it up, and then I just put Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce all over. I love Sweet Baby Ray's, like the barbecue sauce to die for. Buffalo sauce, amazing. Big, big fan. That's another thing that you guys like tag me in on Instagram of all the time is the buffalo sauce. It's so freaking good. But I will like drench my chicken in that. Then I also like made a pan of vegetables. So I did Brussels sprouts and broccoli. And then I just put like olive oil on them. Um, a lot of like different seasonings and stuff. Then put them in the oven. Then I cook those in the oven, and then after 
all that was out, I put my two sweet potatoes. I would normally be one, but these sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's are abnormally small, so you do two. Um, I did some buffalo chicken and then just some vegetables, and that is like the perfect lunch for me. I love it. I'm a big fan. And then for dinner, um, this week I decided to do some salmon, couscous, and on some of them I did sweet potatoes, and then on some of them I did vegetables. But I just made some salmon, I cooked it in the oven. A little bit of butter on it, and then again a lot of seasonings, as you guys can see. And then I put it in the oven. Um, I already had the broccoli, so I already put had all the vegetables, so I had that. And then I just did couscous from like a heat up bag from Trader Joe's. Because honestly, I ran out of sweet potatoes, so I was like, I need something else. So then I did the couscous, and it was literally that easy. This all, I did all of this, like everything that I told you guys, in the span of an hour and a half. I had a friend like helping me. But, like, normally I won't take you more than two hours anyways. Meal prepping is so easy. You save so much money. All of these groceries that I bought for it, um, they were around, like, $45 to, like, $50. But I also get, like, dates and stuff, so that's why um, for the week. And then I'm, like, set for the week. And I don't need to eat out. I have all my food already ready and cooked. It saves me so much time during the week. I stay healthy. I stay feeling good. I'm like such a big fan of meal prepping. I'm so domestic now, you know? It's like crazy. So that is it for my How I Meal Prep video. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. But if you guys have any more suggestions on recipes that I should meal prep, let me know. I want to get into like the soups and all that stuff. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys want to see a what I eat in a day or a week, let me know which one in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Check out my Instagram, my podcast, all that, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.